Why is there a Vanu inside of our freaking Never. Game? And I there's know. always that one fucking Vanu. <laughs> Dude, th th those fucking latex bastards are everywhere. They're like <laughs> fucking cockroaches, I swear to god. We were fighting the TR, and this is like a random banner just inside the base You could be in right the there. NCT warp. You mean like when we were the other day? Business, and boom, there's a Vanu just chilling out in the spawn room. <laughs> there's oh, actually a uh, clip on the yeah, subreddit you, of the Vanu. You wake up for the day, you yeah, make your breakfast, you set your bowl of cereal down, you turn around to grab something, you look back, and there's a fucking Vanu in your fucking suit now. <laughs> <laughs> You, you reach over, you grab your coffee mug, you take a sip, you spit it out because you realize you just drank Vanu scum. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Vanu infiltrator in my coffee! This is the new, new Nanite Systems Combat Unit. And before anyone says anything stupid or anything about me being a clickbaiter because I put new faction in the title, this is a new faction. The NSO, or the Nanite Systems Operatives, released originally in 2019 as a part of the DX11 update, a massive performance overhaul for some people, others didn't really see it too well, but they were originally released with no cosmetics, no specialized weapons, no specialized vehicles, and they had like six directive lines? They didn't even have a max when this update first released. This next update, the Nanite Systems Overhaul, or as I like to call it, the No Sanity Overhaul, fixes all those. 35 new weapons, 11 new directive trees, new particles and sound effects, and two new whole vehicles. They also changed the way the NSO were played. When they were first released, it was a members-only faction that you had to pay for in order to play. Also making it very hard to kind of add some flavor to the faction itself, without people bitching and complaining. Every time you'd log on to a continent, you'd be assigned to the lowest populated faction, as the lore behind the NSO guys are mercenaries. This update makes them free to play. However, members still have a very big and pretty decent perk as well. While the free-to-play players get to play the NSO for free now, access all their weapons, their vehicles, all that, the members get to do all that, but choose the faction that they play for, along with join and create outfits for that corresponding faction. While free-to-play players still get assigned to the lowest populated faction, the freelance mode if you will. Members can also freelance as well. Now is part of the video where everybody came here for, the weapons and the vehicles. Oh, I just mowed three of them down. Come on, give me a fourth, give me a fourth. Oh, I got a fourth. I'm not gonna go over every single weapon because that's gonna take way too long. I'm just gonna go over the stuff that I really, really enjoy playing with. First off, the vehicles. The NSO has two faction-specific vehicles, a main battle tank, the Chimera, and an empire-specific fighter, the Dervish. It also has one other faction-specific vehicle, but it was added in a previous update. That's called the Javelin. Now the Javelin, it's like a speeder bike in Star Wars, especially now since they tweaked the handling and performance of it. It's supposed to be like the Empire-specific version of the Flash. It used to have these stupid little swarm rockets that would take forever to reach their targets, but they would lock on. I got like one kill in the span of two years of playing on the Javelin and the NSO, but now they have three new weapons on it. My personal favorite is the Salamander. Two dual heavy machine guns on each side of the Javelin, just mowing people down in your path. At me. What a Valkyrie of me. <laughs> <laughs> the CT 135 is my main gun, the stock one. Yeah, that's what I'm using too. I want to buy a different one though. Specifically, the side one. You all chase this guy down. I feel like I'm in a fucking Endor speeder bike chase. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I got him! You can also have somebody sitting on the back for extra firepower, but it doesn't really do too much. It's just kind of a transport thing. Why are you taking me away from all the robots? There was loads of robots over there, Vin. There's tons of people this way. Here, watch. Okay, we go cool. over this hill, we're fucked. But these are people. These are vanguards. This isn't fun. There's a camera right in front of us. I know. Shit. Now the next vehicle I'll go over is the Dervish. The Dervish is classified as a heavy fighter. It seats two, has a top gun and a front gun. The front gun controlled by the pilot and the top 
by a passenger. It almost gives me like a kind of a World War II bomber type vibe. Like, you know, they have like the top gun and then the front and all that. But let's just clarify, this thing is not a World War II bomber. In fact, actually, this thing kind of sucks. Aesthetics wise and look wise, it looks amazing. It looks like a god tier plane that should be dominating the skies. But in reality, it kind of sucks. Since its debut in like July, I've only gotten like two kills from it. I honestly think it's better to use this as a kamikaze attack. No pun intended, kamikaze. So, looks amazing, performs awful. Obviously, it's very, very hard to balance a vehicle. We learned that with the BFRs in Planetside 1. But anyway, on to my favorite vehicle of this update. The Chimera Battle Tank. A vehicle that looks badass and is actually able to get kills even though the special ability is still pending approval from the devs. In the meantime, there are six wheels, two turrets, four rumble seats, all awesome. The only hiccup it has is it can't directly turn side to side like all the other tanks can. It literally has to do a three-point turn in order to do so, really, like a harasser or a sunderer. I think so far the Satyr is my favorite weapon for it. It's just a volley of projectiles that you fire on an area. Usually takes out a lot of infantry, but that's just me. Haven't really used any of the other weapons yet. Oh, 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 oh rush him. He's running. <laughs> look at him, look at him run. Look at him. Oh! oh yeah, show your ass like that, you idiot. Oh, Chimera, get him. I'm moving to your right. Look at these guys booking it. <laughs> Now, while the rumble seats are an actually pointless add to the vehicle, they're still kind of cool because, you know, you can transport people from place to place. What does suck about this update is that they got rid of the rumble seat repair feature, meaning that if you're in a Valkyrie or a rumble seat on a Chimera or a Harasser or even a Flash, you can no longer repair that vehicle. Obviously, Valkyries are kind of fucked with this whole thing. <laughs> this guy's name is Valkyries are dead. <laughs> Classic. It kind of saves the Chimera tank from being a little bit too broken. It really is not broken right now. In my retrospective opinion, I haven't seen anything where it's very weak, and I haven't seen anything where it's very hard to kill and tough. So yeah, Chimera, very fun, not overpowered, and it looks like the Batmobile. And yes, it comes in black. Finally, the weapons. First, I'm going to go over what has been really grinding my gears and annoying me about this update. And then, involving the weapons, I'm going to go over what I like. So to start, the NSO has a heavy shotgun that absolutely just fucks shit up. It is arguably the best shotgun in the game and better than any shotgun that the shotgun faction, New Conglomerate, has. Four round magazine, one shot, one kill. Don't believe me? Here, have a look. Oh, because I wasn't close enough. Well, that's annoying. It's your guys's. This Citadel helps the enemy. Does it? Fucking NC. Classic. They use the absolute worst shields and worst, um, oh, it's gone. Okay. Uh, worst everything, I swear. Oh, this is the best one. Let's go back to that. Yoink! 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 Now I wish I had the Viper. Yo! Are you killing people right yeah, now? Yeah, with a heavy like, shotgun, doink! Sounds like a good time. But all pissing aside, I love this gun. It is arguably my favorite gun on the faction. The default weapons, as always, are actually pretty good. I have mostly been playing light assault and heavy, focusing a lot on starting up my vehicles, the carbines, and the LMGs. But these weapons produce results, and pretty good ones too. Overall, the new weapons feel like a blend of the three original factions. The versatility and the accuracy of the VS, the speed of the TR, and the power of the NC. All slightly reduced so it doesn't make all the weapons on the NSO faction broken. The NS weapons have always meant to be a blend of the different factions. So all this makes sense. So that's about it. Tons of new audio and visual effects, 35 new weapons, and two new vehicles. Next up is hopefully the touch-up on the new player experience, which this game desperately needs. And after that, fingers crossed, but a new continent? Around like the holiday time of 2021? Rel? Hmm?